सो हेलो एंड वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द मैकेनिज्म और द एल्गोरिदम दैट इज सपोर्ट वेक्टर मशीन दिस इज अ पोस्ट इज फ्रॉम माय ब्लॉग इफ यू वांट टू स्क्रॉल माय ब्लॉग आई जस्ट मेंशन द लिंक इन द कमेंट सेक्शन यू कैन गो फॉर इट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सपोर्ट वेक्टर मशीन एल्गोरिदम विद इंप्लीमेंटेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी टू का इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज सपोर्ट वेक्टर मशीन एल्गोरिदम इज and after then we will go for the implementation that will be implemented in a python programming language so support vector machine is a basically used for the supervised learning means it deals with the classification and the regression and the data set which is used with is is labeled what is the mean of labeled data set labeled data set means we have enough information about the data so we know the attributes we know the dimension of the data this is nothing but a label data it is one of the popular algorithm that is used for the classification problem classification problem means suppose we uh, we have a set of animals like a cat and dog so we and we also have a one more animal so the extra one animal will go in which field in the cat section or dog section so this is basically solve for the classification problem and this is powerful as well as clear for the complex task okay so definition of the support vector machine algorithm is it is a supervised algorithm that classifies classes by finding a separator and that separator is also known as a hyperplane and this is the diagram of the svm algorithm where first of all we give some data set to our model for the training after training it is used for testing and prediction in test sub as i told you we have a data set with cat and dogs so we give our data set in a training is training phase and after training after training completion it is goes for the testing or prediction in prediction we have a new data point suppose we new data points is just you are inputting cat or dog so in the result output it will show whether it is lie in the cat section or in the dog section so this is the block diagram or the processing of the svm and this is the figure here yeah, this one so as in this figure so we have two different this is the implementation figure or we can say the prescribed figure of svm algorithm this is the hyper this straight line is a hyperplane and uh, this is work as a separator and these and the data points which is nearest to the parallel line which is to the hyperplane or we can say a data point which is nearest to the hyperplane is known as support vectors and with the help of these two support vectors we are going to implement svm algorithm so this is all about the figure this is a margin and this is nothing but a distance between parallel lines so this is the figure so in this figure data can be separated by a single straight line that why it is linear separable data two types of data are there that is linear separable and one is non linear separable linear separable data means the data which can be easily separated by drawing a single line as in this figure just drawing a single straight line we are separating two different classes of data but in this figure that is this one as there is circle and quadrilaterals are mismatching or we can say grouping into each other so there is not possibility of drawing a straight line for classification or we can separation of the data points so it cannot divide with a single straight line so this is a so this is basically non linear separable data okay so this is ha uh, yes the terms that i explain to you hyperplane what is margin what is support vector support vector is nothing but the data point which is nearest to the hyperplane a simply figures of margin the more value of margin will give the more accuracy to your model i don't want it it is accurate memory efficient Uh, leads to overfitting overfitting means when the line on your graph is trying to cover each and every data points useful it is useful for the small data sets so suppose your data set have 1000 or the 2000 number of rows so at that time you can easily use svm and it will get the efficient result to you application image classification text mining hand writing recognition etc implementation of algorithm it will discuss in the next video so thank you